So hi, what's up guys? This is the Pixel Plus UI 5.0 and it's running on Android 13 for Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max. So if you are new to my channel and if you love my content, then please, please, please hit the like button if you really liked it and smash the subscribe button for more tech content in upcoming videos. So let's get started. In the Android version, you can see this. It's running on beautiful Android 13 oh easter egg and i loved basically android 13 the easter eggs are very cool to see and here you're getting android security update of october 5th 2022 and the baseband version is here written it is running on bantam kernel many of the roms i am seeing in there is running on bantam kernel i don't know why but they are not changing in the bantam kernel ceiling status is enforcing and the belt number is tda1220804 after that here you get all the your settings UI nothing has been changed because it's a first 5.0 build. I think they will change the build in the next coming. They will must change the chain locks and everything of the device in the next upcoming builds. Apart from network and internet settings, all the things have worked very well. In the pixelizer option, you are getting buttons option. Nothing much more customizations had been added in this row. In the gestures option, you're getting a quick step action, which I don't use. It's useless feature. Gesture navigation is above here you can see this after that you can see the 100 mode which is working perfectly and it doesn't creates a lag a little bit swipe to screenshot is also working i have disabled that but it's working and the sound of this room is too good while opening and closing any of the things apart from that lock screen option is also given that where much of the settings were working miscellaneous icon manager is also been there and launch music app and advanced restart which i am checking currently it is working so yeah advanced restart does works at all no issues that i have built in the advanced restart option after that if you ask me about the notification icons blink notification icons which is do works vibrate or connect these workings are work also teams options here you can set the vivid monet and options that you like apps in the apps you're getting default apps the pixel launcher no any launcher is there unused app and used app options is also been there for the battery you're getting a battery usage i've used my battery of this device rigorously and i haven't faced any of the issues in this device so you're getting a battery percentage option and it doesn't works i have checked many of the time but battery percentage doesn't works at all in the sound and vibration option you're getting a clear speaker option which is do work fine and it is working finely in the me sound enhancer it's also given and it's working finely no issues i have faced in the me sound enhancer also with the enable hi-fi option is also there haptic feedback option is also been there and it provides the best level of haptic feedback that i haven't experienced it on the me UI. after that wallpaper styles and as usual you are getting much of the color palettes and this is the pre-applied wallpaper from the pixel plus ui that i have liked so much that's why i have lived loved that wallpaper and apart from that, this were the app grid option. I like the 4x5, that's why I've chosen that. This is Blitty's options here, much of the settings are same. In the security option, you're getting a face and fingerprint unlock in the both because this is the first Android 13 ROM which is I am seeing right now, which is supporting fingerprint and face unlock settings also. Apart from that, advanced settings is option. There where more security settings has been moved from that place to here. Apart from that, all things remain same in the system. You're getting a thermal profiles. I have added some of the applications in the thermal profiles and you are surprised to see what's the performance of that also. In the updater option, you're getting a Pixel Plus UI official updater. I am not connected to any of the internet. That's why it is not showing. And apart from that, everything remains the same. Apart from the UI and if you can see this, the opening and closing speed of any application at 120 Hertz, it feels me so smooth and super smooth. You can see this, every app is closing uh, smoothly and no stuttering, no lag is also there. In the QS also there is no stutter and lags. Apart from that, I have run some benchmarks that I, I would like to share the uh, results of that also. So here it falls also comes, I have already mentioned thermal profiles. This is 20 thread supported CPU throttle test. You get a 94% max performance above here with the max gips of 146 and which is run for 12 minutes 37 seconds 
Apart from that, it does support fast charging. No issues I have been facing up all, and the fast charging working fine as usual. No issues I have faced in that also. Apart from that, I would like to share about the DRM info, and the device is being certified with the L1, so you are eligible to play L1 certification like Prime Video and Netflix is working all around fine. Apart from that, I have also checked the the Geekbench, and the Results were like this. You are getting single core, five forty eight and fourteen eighty nine of multi core. I am not surprised with this scores because this is not better scores. Android twelve does provides a better scores than that and MIUI also. So these were the not perfect scores that you are searching for. And first thing I want to tell you, all time benchmark numbers doesn't matter. So you have to keep this on your mind. And Google Pixel for storage spoofing is I thought is also. Being there, free app space, no. Photo settings, sorry. Mm. Backup and sync. Yeah, the the Pixel can backup unlimited photo at no charge. So yeah, you get a Pixel spoofing because it's spoofed as Pixel six or Pixel seven in the Google databases. So it is nice to see that it is supporting that. You are also getting a Play Store certification. If I like to share this, you are getting a Play Store certification devices. Been certified, so you aren't guessing any of the issues in this. So, guys, if you really, really like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the installation steps. It is simple. You have to just flash it via TWRP. I have flashed via TWRP. You just need your Pixel Plus UI downloaded 5.0 file and just flash it via the TWRP and it and format data. It gets rebooted. Nothing. is to worry in this room so guys thanks for watching my videos please 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 if you love my content then subscribe bye bye